Oops. Here we go. Thank you for coming. Thank you, all the comedians that came out to see me. I really appreciate it. Thank you show to be able to see me. And I just want to say thank you from here. And the three other cousins that I have on this line, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Who you are. It's great. I'm here at Flappers, just like everyone else. We're all in the same room. You can't tell, but it's great. It's a good time tonight. Let's see, what can I tell you about myself? I just had a baby. Yeah. Thank you, honestly, guys. Amazing. Thank, good you for you. Thank you very much, because honestly, I did all the work. <laughs> and by all the work, I mean nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. I drove her to the hospital. Um, that was my contribution for the baby. <laughs> I drove her to the hospital. <laughs> I did what a 16-year-old could do. And <laughs> it wasn't even that good. I missed the turn. It's five minutes from my house. I overslept. I missed the turn. I'm a great father. Those are the key points to get out of this message. <laughs> okay. It was rough. My wife is Japanese. So some people applause for that. I don't know why I was waiting for it because so many people do it. <laughs> He's Japanese. I named our son Finley, which is a very Scottish name for the way he looks, which is Japanese. <laughs> it's a little little confusing uh i love having a kid though kids are amazing anybody have kids we don't have that kind of time all right guys don't raise your hand or anything um i know you don't kids are awesome i love having a kid they're great because you're the first thing they see when they come out right you see well they see the mom right of course uh, you're the first thing and you're like this big blob and you make them so happy and everything's so great and you just make the little sounds, you know, you're just like, ee, ee, ee. and they'll laugh, they're like, oh, and they'll laugh and it's so great. And then four months go by and then I try to do the same things with the sound, I'd be like, ee, ee. and then he looks at me like he's auditing me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, well, she has food coming out of her body that I need what do you what what do you have going on because <laughs> I feel like she's picking up most of the speed here uh and he's got these toys you know the little toys it's hard competition is hard for the dad all right <laughs> so we're taking a little break right now just not too long you know I could figure out some more material for him <laughs> uh, so I can entertain. I don't know what to get, what to do. Like clown suits. I'm not really sure at this point. I got to do something. So if you guys have suggestions, just email me. You have my email. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool having a baby, though. I gotta admit, it is cool because you could do things that you could never do without having a baby. Like like blaming stuff on your baby. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> If you ever go driving, you know the guys that have the uh, stickers on the back of the cars? Those are great. You could do whatever you want with that sticker. I know guys, they don't even have babies. They just have the baby on board sticker. They just put it on their car and they just cut people off. And they're like, oh yeah, I was feeding the baby. Guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was feeding the baby. <laughs> put it on your face. You own that, all right? You own it. Because uh, you get a lot of excuses from that way. It's kind of nice. So I like that. Another thing you can't do, well, something you can't do when you have a baby is... Um, Apparently, sex talk with your wife is not a thing appropriate when you're holding a baby. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I always get confused. I'm like, babe, first of all, I don't think he understands what I'm saying. Um, secondly, how do you think he's here? Because, uh, yeah, I feel that's a little weird. <laughs> what else can I tell you about, guys? I'm a little tired today. Um, I don't know why I'm tired. I take some vitamins. I take a little bit of vitamins. I take a pound of vitamins every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up and my wife just pours, I don't know, there's like 11 vitamins. If it's out there, I've taken it because they say it does something good and it may or may not help and it may or may not kill me. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> I take ginseng. You know what's in ginseng? No one does. <laughs> no one does might as well be gunpowder i'm still gonna take it okay <laughs> it's scary because here's, here's people always complain about big pharma but what about big vita 
All right. <laughs> Big Vita, because they tell you, they, they tell you the pills are going to help you. Maybe they might help you. It's a scary, it's a scary marketing tactic. And um, I'm just scared if people started using this in person. You know, if you started using this on dates, if you're like, hey, babe, you uh, go to the movies with me. You're going to have the silkiest skin ever. It's not <laughs> FDA approved, but it could happen. <laughs> it's scary guys but thank you very much my name is russell <laughs> robertson thank you for your time hey. uh, <laughs>